movie, and I'm just going to talk about it, the movie Castaway, what we see is a man, played by Tom Hanks, a man driven by tasks and schedules, suddenly marooned on a desert island. He's assaulted and very nearly defeated by man's oldest and most potent enemy, isolation, and the meaninglessness and helplessness it brings. We see how he uses a picture of his fiance and a constructed relationship with a basketball that he names Wilson to survive. He, puts his, he uses his own blood to paint a face on Wilson and he creates a companion, a bond to sustain him. John Bowlby, the father of Attachment Three, would have liked this movie. He believed that our attachment to others was our greatest resource, our main survival mechanism, our way out perhaps the only way out of terror and helplessness. Later in the movie, when Wilson floats away from Hank's raft, he throws himself into the sea, risking his very life to retrieve a ball. And every person in the audience knows why he does this. We don't have to ask. Our emotions make sense of it for us. And by the way, this context I'm talking about maybe also explains why your couples will consistently use images of life and death to talk about what's happening in their relationship. In our own lives, the power of attachment is also tangible. What do we remember? What stands out in the rush of experience that is over before we've even taken hold of it? I remember my 88-year-old grandmother when she was facing death, and I, being the a uh, rather intense and emotionally focused person that I am, um, asked her how she felt about this. Her answer astounded me. She said, every night I dream of your grandfather. And he says to me, it's just a little while now, Ethel. I have waited for you for so long. And you will be with me here in this beautiful garden at last. You will be with me. What a wonderful way to face death. But I was speechless and astounded because my grandfather had died when my grandmother was in her 30s over 50 years before. Our attachment to our most precious others becomes part of our internal world, and in that sense, it lasts forever.